Suzanne Lyons here. Thank you for joining me. And I just want to thank again uh, Jim Orr, who joined us uh, on Tuesday, uh, where we shared about the importance of acknowledging other people. And, uh, and, and I truly thought it was fantastic. I just adore him. I've known him for many, many years, a wonderful DP. Uh, and he, uh, he was gracious enough to come in and, and share his time with us. So I just want to, uh, want to mention that. Also, I want to let you guys know that next time I have a treat for you as well. This is cool. I've had some wonderful people coming in, actually. Uh, Kimberly Jensen is going to come and join us for tip number nine. She's an award-winning director and uh, an acting teacher and also a friend of mine and a partner of mine with the MasterTalentTeachers.com, uh, which is a, an online uh, free organization where we provide videos and articles and all kinds of great informational stuff to uh, performers and actors and everybody kind of in the performing world. Wonderful group of 11 people, of which... Uh, um, Kimberly is one of them and she uh, is going to be joining me for tip number nine so don't miss that actually uh, next Tuesday. Um, in the meantime what I want to talk to you about today is a little bit different. Uh, tip number eight <clears throat> is called expectations and I know you're thinking what the heck is Suzanne going on about now my god. Um, anyway says so she totally lost it <clears throat> getting this close to the holidays. Um, <clears throat> well I think this one is going to give you the best holiday season with your family and friends that you've had in your entire life. Did you hear what I just said? That gift that I'm going to give you? I know that this whole 10 tips is a gift. I know that completing your year and wrapping up 2011 in a way that has you be complete, maybe for the first time ever, in a way that has you create a blank slate for yourself to generate 2012. I know that this has all been amazing, if I do say so myself, and I have no problem saying so myself, <clears throat> that, uh, that I've been giving you a lot of gifts. <clears throat> this is my gift to you for the holiday season, but today's, I think, is the ultimate. <clears throat> Expectations. Why so many of us don't have a great holiday? Why we go home and we think Aunt Jenny is going to, you know, not make a fool of the family again in front of everybody? Or why we think that our husband is going to get us that gift that we wanted without us telling him? Or whatever it is, we have expectations. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with expectations. Of course, that's what life is all about. We want to have expectations, so it creates an expansion, so it creates what we want to do, it creates those desires, and then we have those fulfilled and move towards those, and all of that's great. Expectations are great. But the distinction that I'm trying to make here is we want to distinguish that we know it's an expectation, okay? That when you're going home and you're expecting something to be different, that I'm going to get that gift that I've wanted, or that Aunt Jenny is going to finally do this, or that brother, you know, Fred is, is, is going to do that, or whatever it is, those are expectations. It doesn't mean they're going to happen. It doesn't mean they're real. It just means an expectation. So when you go home, and that doesn't happen over the holidays, um, over whatever holidays it is that you celebrate, and when you're home with your family and friends and those things don't happen, know that it was your expectation. It was over here. It was in here. It wasn't, wasn't real. So once you get that, then you can kind of laugh about it and go, oh, there's Aunt Jenny again doing what she does. And you can have a good laugh about it. Oh, got it. That's not the gift that I thought I was going to get. But you know what? This is a great gift. That was just an expectation. It was something that wasn't real. It was something that was over here. Is that clear? I hope you're getting it because, my God, it can make such a huge difference. When I got that distinction years ago, it has altered and changed forever and made better by a million fold every holiday season I've had with my family and friends since. So please take a serious look at this one. Play with this one a little bit expectations a great thing to look at a great thing to know that it's just over here not over there okay have a really good holiday season with that particular one um, now like I said next time we've got Kimberly coming to join us and uh, once again um, uh, I just want to thank you so much. I just honestly, it's just been such a joy, and and a pleasure bringing all this great stuff to you guys. Especially as we move into the holiday season, it was just fun to be able to share those that, those little bits of jewels and gems with you now, knowing that you're going to have a, a far better time with your family and friends this holiday season. So I'm just enjoying this this uh, ability and opportunity that I have 
to contribute to you with this knowledge that I've kind of gained and in, in, uh, over the years, you know, and these programs that I teach. Yeah, these little booklets that I do. Uh, I just kind of interview a lot of people, and I, I teach these courses, and I read these books, and I just kind of put all this great stuff together and, and just love sharing it. So um, thanks again for joining me, and I will see you next time, okay? Um, all right. Bye-bye, everybody. Thank you.